Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 13th episode of the Runner Talk Show, brought to you live at Mayview City in uh, Runner Talks Singapore Runner Talks office, located yeah, like what I said, Mayview City. Uh, I hope you had a uh, great uh, weekend. I had kind of a long weekend because I got to go for the parent-teacher meeting. For those of you who are parents and have uh, school-going kids, you know what I mean. You have to uh, visit your their teachers and then you know chat with them and find out more about your children. So anyway, uh, today's episode I have uh, uh, Ned with me again. Hi, Ned. Good uh, good evening. Thank you Hi. for joining joining me today. Alright guys, so today's episode, the 13th episode, it will be all about um, window grills. Uh, we don't really hear about window grills uh, nowadays, but uh, yes, we're going to talk about uh, window grills. Now, before I uh, go on, you want to uh, mention anything you, you know about uh, window grills or on a personal point of view? About what about your, your house? Do you have like a window grill in your house? Okay, um, for my home personally, we still have like window grills installed around the house, mostly for like um, safety purposes. Okay. Like in case we had like young kids over, like family friends, and they bring their kids, and then the kids want to climb everywhere. Mm -hmm. So the grills are still there. But for my own bedroom, I had the grills removed because, um, I mean, people have like reasons for removing grills. All right. For me, um, for me personally, I removed my grills. I had my grills removed so that um, for yeah, better your window grills removed. Better, yeah, okay. for better ventilation. I see. So as I was uh, mentioning, let me just mention, uh, let me just share with you a little bit about windows before we go into the window grills proper. Now, windows, windows let in light, as everybody know, uh, and keep your home safe and sound for your loved one. But is it enough? Do you need a window grill for it? Well, here it is. The Housing and Development Board, HDB, does not provide window grills as a standard feature in its flat, whether it's for sale or, 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 or for rental. Now, some might view window grills as an obstruction to their, to their activities, especially for the elderly. Maybe because they want to uh, like, hang their clothes and all that, so the grill might be a hindrance yeah, to them. True. Yeah, it uh, might be an obstruction to them. So, we hope that after listening to all this, uh, you'll be able to uh, decide for yourself and uh, decide whether window grills is essential for you or not. Like what Ned said, Ned uh, doesn't have a uh, window grill in, in your house. Right? In, no, your in, in my bedroom only. Oh, in your bedroom only. Okay, guys, now uh, just, just gonna, I have to mention this. This is about window maintenance. It's very important that you, that you maintain your window. So, before I go on my uh, window grill proper, let me just mention something about the window maintenance. Now, windows are subject to constant uh, rain and wind exposure. Uh, you need to maintain them as they deteriorate from uh, time, uh, over time due to uh, wear and tear. Now, regular maintenance of windows is essential for safety. As a homeowner or occupant, you are responsible for the upkeep of the windows in your flat. And otherwise, a window could fall and cause severe injury or worse to those uh, below, you know, walking by. <clears throat> so, you should check your windows at least once every six months, as stated in the HDB's website, which I'm going to show it to you later. Now, immediate action is crucial for your window safety. So let's say you, you, you notice something is wrong with your window, you got to get it replaced and fixed, okay? Now, the moment you find out your windows are in danger of falling, definitely take precautionary measures. Okay, subsequently, engage a building and construction authority, BCA-approved window contractor listed with, listed with HDB to replace, repair the windows. Why? Because these are work which could cost someone's life. Let's say the window is going to drop down and to hit somebody. And, yeah, so you got to get some, some you got to get a, you got to engage uh, a contractor uh, that's approved by uh, HDB. Okay, before I go on, let me just show you uh, the contractors which is approved by uh, HDB. This is, this is a whole list of it. Yeah, you can find this page here uh, at uh, HDB. Just search for Directory of Renovation Contractors and yeah, you can get the whole list here. So once again, you got to be, to engage any contractor, you got to be getting, you got to be engaging someone which is registered with uh, uh, HDB. Okay, now what is a window grill? I think it is best that we show them pictures. Show we? Man. Window grill. Window grill. Okay, here you go. These are the various window grills that, uh, that what we are uh, talking about. At the various uh, areas of the house. Uh, yep. Uh, I'll tell you more about this website and uh, this company as we 
as we uh, go on in our show. Okay, now windows grills are used to strengthen windows. They are especially, uh, to strengthen windows, especially glass windows, and the various reason is to make them, uh, I mean, the main reason is to make them stronger. Uh, the grills are usually made up of uh, aluminium. Now, when you shop for your uh, window grills, you will, the thing that you have to prioritize is safety features and the aesthetics of the, of the, of the window grill. Uh, and that will assist you in choosing the right type of uh, grill. But before I go on and talk about you know, the tips of choosing a window grill proper, let me ask Ned. Ned, how is your uh, how is the window grill in your in your in your house like? Is it like different kind of uh, materials and uh, shapes no. and sizes? Um, okay, so my home it's an old um, it's a resale mansionette. Okay. So the grills have been around for maybe 20 plus years. Previous and owner, basically. Yeah, and okay. ever since the previous owner, okay. owner. So there were the very classic, I mean, not old, but like maybe classic um, diagonal slash. And then they're like secured in the center with a padlock. Oh, okay. These were the kinds of grills that I have in the house. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, color? They used to be white. White, yeah. They I used mean, to be white now. Painted with another color. Rock yeah. with another color. Yeah. Um, I mean, when we first got the place, the grills were white, but then they started like chipping off over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we so, yeah. had like yeah. them repainted brown. Oh, okay. So, yeah, like Laura like mentioned earlier, when it comes to windows, especially, uh, I think maintenance is a uh, regular maintenance for, uh, in fact, uh, every six months, maintenance is, is uh, essential. All right, now uh, I'm going to share a few tips for choosing uh, your window grill. Okay, uh, first off, for ensure that you select the best material that suits your preference and taste. Uh, as well, we know there's aluminium and there's also wood. But then wood is not usually uh, favoured in HDB houses or, or a lot of houses yeah. uh, nowadays. But so usually, it's, typically it is uh, aluminium. Now, if you're looking to secure your home without compromising the overall look of your house, then, uh, overall, uh, then aluminium grill will suit you uh, the best. Let's talk about the different aluminium or steel. Aluminium or steel or wrought iron. Okay. Now let's talk about the different window uh, grill shapes. Uh, I have a few here. Uh, Ned, you can share with me if let's say you come across any other shapes other than the one that I'm gonna list that here and share. Right. First one is diamond shape. Okay, diamond shape usually comes in diagonals like what uh, Ned just mentioned. Diagonals. They create a beautiful looking uh, shape. And now these grills are uh, uses more. I mean, they use more metal hands. They are very strong, but uh, yet they give the window a friendly kind of look. But you might you might be noticing a very uh, very very high, very 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 uh, 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 very strong kind of metalish kind of uh, look. Okay, that's for diamond shape. Now, um, out in the market, there are two two categories of window grills. Traditionally, it's uh, grills, which is made up of uh, steel aluminium or wrought iron. And another one is invisible grill. I'm we're gonna I'm gonna share more about the invisible grill later, uh, because uh, that is the current uh, trend right now. <clears throat> but let's go back to the shape. <clears throat> so I mentioned diamond shape. Next is the horizontal shape, uh, not your vertical kind of prison looking kind of uh, of uh, shape. Okay, we're we talking about the horizontal ones uh, simply because they are simple but yet also uh, beautiful. Next is you have uh, well like a moroccan kind of shape you know where it is with like a, a flower motif and, and a flowery kind of shape flower motif pretty much like back in maybe the uh, i mean like maybe the 80s or maybe, so yeah, 80, 70 like yeah uh now this moroccan kind of sh uh, window grill kind of shape it's uh, it includes tight curve open spaces and woven uh, patterns now this style of grill is more suited to homes that have a great great deal of outdoor decoration and ornaments and the reason why homeowners chooses, uh, choose this uh, particular shape or style is because they complement their house uh, design. So, yeah, just three typical kind of shape. Did I Actually, miss Actually, um, there is probably one more, and these will be the grills. Um, they're like oval, mm -hmm. um, oval shape, and then with bars connecting. These are the very old ones that oh, were yes. like, like around yeah. maybe 50s, are you, are you 60s. With, uh, are you referring to the oval? I mean, the oval shape yeah. is right in the middle, is it? Yep. And then you have like, oh yes, yep, yeah, that's absolutely right. right. Okay, so yeah, so that is the typical window drill kind of uh, shape. Now, what about the sizes? Let's talk about the sizes now, Ned. Now, sizes matters a lot when it comes to choosing the best window grills. Of course, like, I mean, we get those 
really tiny, 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 mini one, then it's it's not gonna be withstanding. You know, it's not gonna be like that that strong as compared to a a, a a bigger one. Now, other large or small space grills, space grill each has its own uh, advantages and disadvantages. The most important benefit of a big grill is, of course, it makes the place more uh, area, <laughs> if there's a word. And while those, those small ones are usually more uh, secure because they're very tight, right? You know, they're closely spaced together, right? So, yep, yeah, that is about the sizes. You want to add anything to the window grill size? I mean, usually come in standard kind of size, lah. I mean, like you don't have like a huge HDB. range or a huge vast, uh, you know, just array of uh, yeah. sizes. Uh, now, window grill colors. Okay, guys, uh, most grills come in metallic color or powder coated uh, color. Uh, Typically in Singapore, window grills are uh, aluminium. Therefore, you will. It's hard for you to miss that metallic color. Like it's, it's very hard to. Yeah, it's very hard to miss it. You most of the time you probably come come across a a, a house or, or a grill or, or a, a house with a with a metallic looking kind of uh, window grill. But if you wish to install those made from wrought iron, then there are many colors that you can uh, choose. But just ensure the colors of your grill matches the colors of your. Uh, windows so as not to create that uh, huge that, that big uh, 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 contrasting uh, uh, effect so that is the color did I mention did I have I already asked you what's the color of your grill in your house I did right you did yeah you did so yeah when you come to uh, colors wrought iron uh, one thing good about wrought iron if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken you can get special those special metal paint and then you can you can paint it yourself I have seen before uh, not, not in my area where where there are grills with a flower kind of motif and then, and it's not just one one uh, uniform color i mean the flowers of course uh, they have like different different kind of colors so so yeah it is it's entirely up to you if you want to decorate it with or you want to paint it with different different kind of uh, uh, colors so yeah so that's the window grill uh, colors next i'm gonna share about the invisible grill Invisible grill is currently the in thing right now. It, is, it has been in Singapore for a number of years. Like, I don't know when exactly or who was the first one to have invisible grill. But it is, uh, it is uh, we, we, see, we see this uprising trend where homeowners are, are installing um, the invisible grill. But uh, what is uh, invisible grill exactly? Let me share it with you. Oh, Ned, do you know what's an invisible grill before I go on? I'm sure I've seen. I, I've seen, grill. yeah, like very, very thin lines. Yep, 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 yep. Thin like yep. strings or something. That is right. Let's uh, let's uh, let's continue. Now, invisible grills are window frames that are strung vertically with high tension cables, made of steel that have a nylon membrane and can typically withstand a tensile force of over ninety kilograms. Picture, please. Sure, no problem. All right, Ned. When I'm talking, can you just click this button so you can uh, so the homeowners uh, viewers will be able to see? Can right. you click? Yeah, just click this uh, button. All right, guys. So uh, these cables, right? They are high tension, and these very thin cables are spaced just wide enough to prevent someone from entering or falling out. But they also space out fine enough from each other, making it practically invisible when you view from a distance. Now, in terms of aesthetics, uh, aesthetics. Sorry, aesthetics. Aesthetics, as you can see from the pictures. The discreetness of the grills allow you to have an obstructed view of your surroundings. Also, you don't have to worry about making sure that the grill design and color blend seamlessly with your home decor. Why? Because it's invisible. Huh? <coughs> Excuse me. It also gives you a more spacious kind of uh, feeling. And the installation and removal process of the, gr of the grills is relatively simple. But my advice is, if you don't know how to do it, then don't. Go and engage some uh, professional. Now, invisible window grills are also virtually maintenance-free as the cables are made up of stainless steel and are coated with uh, anti-corrosive uh, spray. Let's just go back uh, uh, back to the pictures. Now. Yep, the uh, left side. Yep. You can also have the added security option of connecting your invisible grills to your alarm system if you have one, now, which will ensure that any breach of security from the outside of the grill will trigger the alarm. Last but most importantly, remember to engage an experienced and reputable expert for top quality invisible grills for your home so you, so you and your loved one can remain safe and sound. Alright, Ned, thank you so much. Let me, let me bring back to our faces. Mm -hmm. So guys, you can see from the various examples which uh, Ned has assisted me in, in clicking the pictures, you can see the, the example of the, of the invisible grill. So, so th that is the, that is the, the, the trend. La, la, right now like what I was uh, sharing. 
Uh, so you 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 saw it right, Ned. What do you think of the invisible grill personally? Do you do you think you like it? If, let's say you're gonna have a, a house on your own, do, would you wanna install an invisible grill? I mean, yeah, I do see the perks. Um, but maybe personally for me, I would prefer um. Not Ryan. Um, I mean, invisible grill with some form of like mosquito netting. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, invisible grill with some form of uh, mosquito netting. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. You got to ask an expert in it, and perhaps maybe they can, they can infuse. No, not infuse. Like, they can, you know, install the mosquito netting with your invisible grill. I'm gonna share. Because you we know, like share. sometimes at night or like oh, after yes, it rains, yes. then you have like all mozzies. sorts of it, mozzies, um, beetles, cockroaches, even and whatnot. Yep. Yeah. Coming over and coming in time, infiltrating, invading into your into your private space of your of your home. Okay. Uh, now, when it comes to installation, uh, when it comes to installing a, a window grill, do you exactly do you actually need a permit? I'm just gonna say this very quickly. But if you need more details, I will show you. I will tell you. I mean, I will share with you uh, where you should go and find out more. Now, yes, you need a permit for installation replacement of grills at your service yard or your balcony parapet uh, but all this is subjected to specific guidelines and conditions to find out more let me bring up the page please visit hdb's website particularly at this page at window works and then you will find whether you require a permit for your for the installation of your grills as it's uh, indicated, like what I mentioned earlier, installation replacement of grills at service yard balcony or service yard or balcony parapet. Uh, yes, uh, these are the these are the guidelines and conditions that you must uh, know. So the best part is even before you decide to install a window or grill by uh, by you know from through engaging a contractor, I think it's just good for you to just read up for yourself and then get you know just get custom with whatever is required from the homeowner point of uh, the, from the homeowner uh, part okay next uh, I mentioned earlier uh, about expert and 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 expert who are who are recognized by the HDB and BCA yes we have one to to recommend and it is called the home concept now the home concept is yet uh, these are the this is their website the website is at uh, lahome, L E spelled as in L E H O M E dot com dot S G. Okay, so you can can find out more for yourself. They are also at this. Uh, they are face. They have a Facebook page as well, which is uh, yeah lahome uh, concept. So before I show, before I scroll down, their Facebook. Let me just show you my our face again. I will just share with you about uh, lahome uh, concept just a little bit. Now, yes, we recommend lahome concept. Uh, La Home Concept was established in January 2011. They specialize in invisible grill and the supply installation of aluminum window, automatic gate, carpet grass, digital door viewer, vinyl flooring, crystal grill, aluminum grill, iron gate, outdoor blinds, and wall cushion. If uh, you want to my, uh, you want to find out more, you can always go to their website or their Facebook page and yeah, and get the information. Now they have an experience and a and a professional team, and, and with this, they maintain a high standard in upholding customer satisfaction. So you customers or would be customers can rest assured that they are in good hands, that you will be in good hands when you choose or if you choose La Home uh, concept. Once again, this is their Facebook uh, page. So yep. Oh, they have a video here as well. But I'm not going to show it to you. I invite all of you to check out their Facebook page and uh, their website and find out more for your for yourself. Well, check, well, check this out. Invisible Grill Portfolio. Okay, guys. I guess I've uh, shared with you uh, on uh, Invisible uh, Grill. I think the, the, the key points to, to take away from, from this episode is, uh, yes, first of all, Windows. Uh, you need... Uh, you need the timely and, and, and continuous uh, care and maintenance. In fact, it's every six months. Uh, and, you need, and for grills, uh, well, no matter what grill you choose, I think it's best you have to check whether you need a permit for it. Okay. Uh, okay. Ned, I guess I've come to the end of the 13th episode of the Drone Talk Show. 
Well, we are 13 episodes old. Anything you want to add about the windows or window grill before I uh, say my uh, closing credit? <laughs> Anything you want to add on? Mm, no, I mean, um, I, I am optimistic that one day like the grills can progress even further to include like some sort of barricade, some mm. sort of like netting to keep yep. like insects from yep, flying no, to your room. Yeah. Like I really need those <laughs> desperately. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestion, uh, queries, uh, please drop me an email at z at ronaldtalk dot uh, com. Marketer, brands, company, products. You want to have your your brands uh, showcase in the Ronald Talk show? Uh, yes, you can drop me an email as well, zronaldtalk.com, and I will reply to all those emails for those of you who have sent in your questions, your comments, your suggestions. Thank you so much. We will consider all of them and we'll try to uh, work on it. Um, today, this week, uh, prior to Thursday, Wednesday, it will be uh, Hari Raya uh, Puasa, Hari Raya Adil Fitri from, uh, from me, Zeno. I would like to wish all our Muslim viewers, whether you are in the eastern or western part of Malaysia or in Singapore, Selamat Hari Raya Adil Fitri, mo, uh, mo, Mohon Maaf Zaid dan uh, Batin. I uh, hope you guys have a uh, great uh, yep, uh, festive, uh, festive, festive holiday, festive day. Okay, I guess uh, that's all. I'll see you guys this Thursday for our 14 episode. Uh, I'll perhaps have a special guest. Perhaps it's Ned, perhaps it's uh, someone else. We don't know. Let's find out. All right, guys, I see you guys on Thursday. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye. Bye.